Hey guys, Muse Ninja Matt here, and I went to see Venom today. So I'm just gonna talk about my thoughts on the film while it's still fresh in my mind. Of course, there will be spoilers for the movie as I talk about it. So Venom, kind of a roundup of this film. We have Carlton Drake, he is also Riot, the main villain. He brings the symbiotes to Earth. He has a space program and he brings them down because he believes like Earth is dying and we need a way to survive. We have Eddie Brock, he's in San Francisco and I thought it was interesting to actually take him out of the New York setting because apparently Sony thinks that this is not in the MCU but exists next to it and that they could cross over at any point which is dumb. But Eddie Brock has his own show, he's like the best journalist ever, but due to going against Carlton Drake he ends up losing his job and his girlfriend and his whole life just goes to shit. He obviously comes into contact with the Venom symbiote and merges with him. He finds the symbiote at Carlton Drake's lab, so we're going in a different direction with the origins. The next part is basically just some action sequences and of course Venom and Eddie trying to coexist and get along. And the plan for the villain is that Riot's like, oh you have a spaceship, let's take that, go get more of my kind and come and take over Earth. And Venom is meant to be in on this because Riot is his leader, but Venom just goes, uh, you changed my mind, Daddy. I don't want to do that, I like Earth. And of course, in the end, they stop the bad guy. I did not like the villain. I thought it was a very weak part of the film. I just thought the motivations for the villain were meh. I thought that Venom's sudden change of heart was a bit weird. It feels like this film had scenes taken out and a lot of it you just have to accept. It's just accept this to enjoy the film. Now here's the thing, there were some great aspects to this. Tom Hardy is fantastic. His acting alone is fantastic. When he's having to be really ill and all over the place, it's great. It feels like his character's almost a mix of Flash Thompson and Eddie Brock. He's much more likeable, he's an anti-hero, so he's a mix of a few Venom characters. Now with Venom, because Venom is his own character, I wasn't a huge fan of the way he looked. He looked uh, too slimy and gooey-like when I feel like he should be more solid looking, but his size was great, the way the face looked was great. I like how they played up the parasite side of things, where these symbiotes actually hunger, and if they don't get enough sustenance, they'll just start eating away at the host, which is something him and Eddie have to deal with as well. This take on Venom, he's funny, he's sassy. You have the two voices, you have Eddie Brock, you have Venom and they converse with each other. This Venom would suit the MCU. This film is rated a 15, there is no need for it to be. It's not really that violent, yes there's the occasional swear word, but all in all, this more humour based Venom would fit next to Tom Holland so well, and it's weird because I just think if they had just collaborated on this movie, it would have been great. Part of me was like, oh, Venom making jokes and stuff. I don't really like it. But another part of me was like, actually, this is a fresh take on him, and it is quite refreshing to see. And the humour in the film throughout was great. Like, Tom Hardy is just so good at being funny. Weirdly, as a little side note, and it really bugged me. So Ron Jones, who is in Luke Cage, he appears in this film as Eddie Brock's boss, but he already exists in the MCU, and I don't like seeing one actor play multiple characters within a franchise, but Sony have said they want the franchises to cross over, but it was fun seeing him, because he's awesome in Luke Cage, and he's awesome in this. The love interest, Annie, who is actually She-Venom in the comics, and we even get a moment where she's wearing the symbiote and she is She-Venom, which was really cool. She's kind of just there in this film. She's one of those characters that she's not good, she's not bad, she's just there. But her boyfriend she gets after her and Eddie break up, Dr. Dan, I actually really like him because he's not a douchey guy. Usually it's like, oh, the douchey new boyfriend but he's actually trying to help Eddie throughout, and I really like that. I wasn't a fan of the effects in this film. There's a bit where a woman's, like, knee has snapped, it looks bad, some of the CGI in the fights, it just doesn't look 
great, if I'm honest. However, I really enjoyed the music. I enjoyed, it's a mix of some like really heavy music and some rap music and it just fits the tone of the movie really well. Some of the camera work was just so well done and so well paced and there was even like slight effects. So at the start when you're seeing like the cleanup crew of the crashed spaceship, it's almost like a Blair Witch filter over the camera which I liked. However, some of the shots of Eddie walking and the camera bobs with him as you've got the lights of San Francisco flashing really hurts to look at so it's a mix of shots. Some are really good, some are not so good. The action in the film as well, it was a mix for me because the intentions were very good but a mix of some poor CGI and some camera shots being too quick weren't great. What made the action good was just Venom and Eddie and their conversations as the action's going on. Like yeah, he did some cool stuff, but Venom felt really limited in his abilities. Another thing that kind of bugged me is it's not hugely explained in great detail how a host and a symbiote work. We get the impression that if the host is wrong, the symbiote will just kind of kill the host and a symbiote needs a host otherwise it will die. The problem is we get some symbiotes that seem able to survive in hosts for months on end but then apparently the host wasn't right. We also have it where people seem to be taken over by the symbiote completely and be like a zombie whereas some other people are still in control in some manner it's just they play very fast and loose with what the rules are depending on what they want to happen in the film. I also thought the pacing was slightly off because the film is very short. It flies by. However, it takes so long to get into it. We spend a lot of time with just Eddie and then at the end it just, it's over like that. The final battle between Venom and Riot, it's over like that. It just feels like they sort of rushed the end a bit too much. With the after credit scenes, we get to see Carnage. We see Cletus and um, it's Woody Harrelson and he looks great. And I was like, this is kind of fun. Like he's in the prison. And obviously that's where Carnage was born in the comics. But then he literally says, I'm gonna get out of here and there'll be Carnage. And I'm like, wow, there was no need. It's too on the nose. And then the weirdest thing ever happened because then it says, meanwhile in another universe, and we just got a straight up clip from Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, the animated Spider-Man film. And my head was like, okay, you wanted to promote this film, but why do it here? And you said in another universe, are these gonna connect in any way? Like, it blew my mind. But the Spider-Verse film looks great, so that's good. With this film, I had fun watching it. Tom Hardy was great, the humour was great. I did kind of like their take on Venom. However, the plot felt a bit too thin for me, the pacing was off, and I thought the villain was just crappy. I have very mixed feelings. I definitely don't want to see this enter the MCU. I want Venom to just kind of have his own universe. If Sony are gonna make these films, he can have his own universe. I'm gutted, of course, because I'd rather this was a collaboration and that Venom could be in the MCU. I want this Venom, but not this backstory. I even pitched one of these stupid fantasy ideas to Pete, where I said, wouldn't it have been great if uh, somehow in Avengers 4, you could have had Spider-Man comes back and he's, he's got his damaged suit on and he somehow gets the symbiote suit and we think nothing of it he's just got a cool new suit and then in Spider-Man Far From Home you could have introduced Eddie Brock you could have had Spider-Man reject this new suit it goes on to Eddie and Eddie goes away and then you make this Venom film as a collaborative project that's a mental idea I know but it's some way you could have done it I do have a lot of negative things to say about the film but at the same time I didn't hate the movie. It's like I said, it was a fun watch, so I'm very in the middle with it. But anyway, those were my thoughts on Venom.
fresh out of seeing it. A bit all over the place, I know. Movie reviews are really hard to do, I find. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe as it really helps the channel out. Check out the links in the description down below. Check out the whole channel, including the playlists, and I will see all of you in the next one.